all week long in the build-up to this contest. But never have he faced an opponent as experienced as this. Lawrence Cole with the final instructions. So we're underway then, the WBC Light Flyweight Championship of the World on the line. The reigning champion, Ken Shiro. Man, we're in the white trunks trimmed with gold and the elaborate advertising decals all over those trunks, making the fourth defense of the title that he won in May of last year. His opponent is a former champion in the International Boxing Federation, won the world title at his third attempt won it right here in Japan with a stunning victory over Akira Yegashi in May of last year as well. Can lightning strike twice as Milan Melindo looks to become a two-time world light flyweight champion. Classic crossroads encounter if you will. Eternal philosophical question as to which quality is more valuable, youth or experience. The Shiro gets through with a good left jab, shooting that out from around his belt line. Possesses terrific feet, the Shiro can close the distance quickly. He's proven to be a fierce puncher to the body as well in his last couple of title defenses. Slightly taller man, by some three inches, according to the tail of the tape. Just an inch and a half. Advantage in reach for the challenger, so despite being shorter, it is Melindo who has the longer reach, 65 and a half inches, according, as opposed to 64 inches, according to the tail of the tape. Shiro just navigating the ring effectively and snaking out a sharp left jab. Two thirds of the way through this opening round. So plenty of patience being demonstrated by Melindo, content to stay in the pocket, just move to his left rather than concede ground. Snaking left jab to the body, perhaps in an attempt in an attempt to slow down the movement of the fleet-footed champion. Think with the feet that was probably audible up in the cheap seats here at the Yokohama Arena. Melindo stamping that front foot forcefully. But a real tactical battle through the opening exchanges of this first round. Yes! Snaking left jab to the body is a good shot once again from the challenger. Shiro responds with the same shot. Page opening round of boxing in this light flyweight world title bout. Okay. Three. Some. Two. Go. So into the second round then, and Shiro, the champion, born into boxing, quite literally, his father was a former pro, Kenshiro's forename is Kenshiro Teraji, 
and his father, Hishashi Saraji, was a light heavyweight who was a national champion here in Japan, retired in 2000 with a record of 20 wins, one defeat and three draw draws in his 24-fight professional career. A looping right hand around the corner from Melinda, and that gets Shiro's attention. He's holding that left hand, well, perilously low. That's his style, of course. But if you're going to employ that low handed style, you better possess swift reflexes. And if they fail you, then a sturdy set of whiskers. Melinda didn't really get much purchase on the shot because he looped it over almost as though he was bowling a cricket ball looping it around the corner rather than getting back leg and twist from the waist into the shot but it was just a warning sign to Shiro which is going to continue to box with his hand down by his belt line as is his want when he's going to have to remain switched on darting left jab in evidence once again from Shiro but Melinda Slipping punches, not conceding ground, staying in the pocket, ensuring that Shearer remains concentrated on his work at all times. We mentioned the fact that this is a matchup as Melindo lands with the right hand once again, and look at the way Shiro has to wipe it away with his right glove. Right hand lead from Shiro is a nudging shot. He's remaining poised under pressure. So Shearer remaining poised despite the couple of eye-catching singles he's been on the receiving end of from Melindo. But in the battle between Oh that's a good right hand, that's a beautiful shot from Shearer. But in this battle of youth against experience, Melindo comes into this with 300 professional rounds under his belt, compared to just 85 for Shiro. Give you an idea as to how much ring craft Melindo has acquired in a career that began way back in 2005. Good one, two from Shiro brings a round of applause from the crowd. Nice use of the left jab to conclude the round from the champion. Double jab, meaning Malaitan, meaning jab no. Any legs, any legs, any legs, any legs. Okay, good, good. Okay, lah, even, even, even. In a in a double jab, you must treat me, man. Well, there's the looping right hand that Melindo had success with, winging it around the corner in straight arm fashion. Again, Shiro, if he doesn't pick that right left hand up, he's going to have to ensure his radar is working more effectively than it did on that occasion. So into the third round then. Light flyweight division. It's been a bountiful theme of success for fighters from Japan. One of the all-time greats of Japanese boxing was a light flyweight. Yoko Gushiken. He made 12 successful defenses of the WBA light fly crown between 1976 and 1981. That's the number that has since been equaled by Shinsuke Yamanaka, who was the WBC bantamweight boss between 2011 and 2017. Shiro says that he had designs on that number. Is just eats another right hand again from Melindo. He gets back to work with a good left jab, though. It really is a terrific shot. He described it to me when I was speaking with his camp during the week as his best punch along with his feet being his primary assets. Controlling the distance behind those two weapons and you can see those qualities in evidence right here. Melindo falling short with his jab despite possessing the slightly longer reach. Good use of the feet from the champion. Oh, double jab right hand success.
there from Galindo, but then a counter right hand came in a flash from Shiro. Right hand success once again from the champion. Terrific exchange just a few moments ago, and Shiro now back behind that trip hammer of a left jab. Really does get it to the on guard position, which is down by his belt line, I hasten to add, in pretty quick order. Timing, of course, is one way to neutralize superior speed. But Shiro remaining poised that Belindo is content to remain in the pocket. He falls short with an attempted foray to the forward, foray to the body. Just as he did in the opening and second round as Melindo has success upstairs with a jab, but Melindo having success when he targets the body. The method man. Looking to employ that tactic, but Shiro so composed. Really is embracing the stage on which he's performing. Melindo fall short with the jab by effective use of reverse gear once again from Shiro. Good left jab to the body from the champion. Very good round of boxing. Good. Maintain it. Okay? Maintain it. One. Uh... Well, look at that for a counter right hand after Melindo got through with a left right of his own. Right on the button. Shiro shooting out the lead right hand and then escaping to the left by good use of the feet once more. じっくり。じっくり言わそう。パートナー、パートナー。オッケー。ちょっと待って。オッケー。ラウンド 4。Rather tardy exit from the blue corner. Melino Melindo's men so going to the fourth round. Mention the fact that this has been such a strong division historically for Japanese fighters. Japanese boxing in a good place at the moment. And there was a period last year when Japanese boxers held all four versions of the world light flyweight titles. Until Kosi Tanaka gave up the WBA, excuse me, the WBO belt and moved up a division north to flyweight. Pretty profitable division for men from the Philippines as well. Melinda, one of four Filipino fighters in the Ring Magazine's top 10, ra top 10 rankings at light flight. So both of the nations contesting this WBC light flyweight strap strong at the weight. Japan and the Philippines. Counter right hand was a nice shot. Didn't have much pop on it from Shiro, but again. Looping left hand as a sustained attack from Melindo. Did reap dividends, but he's fed another ramrod left jab from the champion. And Shiro really is using that punch to terrific effect. And Melindo, well, we saw that he had success when he came with, when he doubled up the attack, because at just one attack at this type of distance and territory, it's Shiro who is using the left jab and his feet to control the distance, and then he chopped down a right hand on a downward trajectory. Melindo falling short with an attempted one-two to the body, and maybe he would be advised to attack in waves, not just one and done as he's doing here being countered really effectively by the champion is Melindo. He's another left jab before he responds with the same shot to the body. Melindo is a fighter who marks up and is already 
damage to the bridge of that rather flat nose as Shiro gets through with a strong right cross. Forced the challenger backwards. And again, the left jab just continuing to pile up the points. Popping the head back and then he's following up with a crashing right cross once again, Ishiro. He may have been partially blocked by the left glove, but it still drove the man backwards and kept him occupied. And look at the way the gap, the jab, he's just penetrating the effect, the attempted defences of the challenger. Melindo just having his rhythm constantly disrupted by that beautiful lead left hand. But when he was pinned on the ropes, Shiro let go a right cross. And that is why he raised his right fist in acknowledgement of the rapturous applause okay. he's received here. Okay. Brilliant display in the closing okay. stages of that fourth round from the champion. Okay. 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 So Melindo with a looping left hand, just inconveniencing Shiro slightly but this is where he backed him up to the ropes just before the bell and then when he sensed that the challenger had nowhere else to go he brought the right hand into play terrific punch picking from the champion Turn to the fifth round then. Mention the fact that Ken Shiro's father was a professional. He's the man who's been managing Shiro since, his, since he turned over to the professional ranks. Started boxing. 13 years of age did Shiro. Scores effectively once more. Put together an outstanding. 58 and 16 ledger in the unpaid code national championship silver medalist at light flight back in 2013 and under the auspices of his father his manager his debut opponent had a record of 36 17 and 4 hugely experienced figure Shiro faced off against in August of 2014 when he met Harry Amal that was up in Osaka and he won on points over six what a right hand from Shiro once again and then dropping it down to the body we mentioned the fact that he's proved to be a wicked body puncher and his last two title defenses have come via stoppages courtesy of body shots now he's been touching up Melindo to the head almost exclusively throughout this contest. But he's just bringing in the bodywork into play now. Right cross is a beautiful shot once again. And Melindo being made to appear just a little bit one paced in this fifth round. And Shiro looking completely untroubled and in control. Good jab was landed by the challenger just a few moments ago. But it's Melindo who is the governor as again the challenger's head is snapped backwards. And the method man may need to find an adaptive strategy because plan A, well, it's not reaping many dividends for the challenger through this point in the contest. Starting in round four as Melindo, as Shiro just demonstrating his dexterity once again. Spearing his man now, increasing in confidence. And Melindo just beginning to breathe through a little bit of an open mouth. He'll know how to manage the 12 round distance, of course. Competing in his 17th scheduled 12 rounder tonight. He's completed the 12 round championship course on 10 occasions, but he's been picked off with terrific accuracy. A fair amount of pop behind these punches as well. Very explosive is Ken Shiro. Not necessarily a devastating knockout artist, but he can break you down if he continues to pick you up with this type of precision and power. Very good round of boxing through the fifth for Ken Shiro once again. Okay. 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 Okay.
Look at that for a right hand from Ken Shiro. Melindo covered up momentarily, came back with a right hand to the body. But it was most certainly Ken Shiro's round. So to the sixth round then. Ken Shiro has really increased the tempo through rounds four and five, where he enjoyed dominant three-minute frames at the expense of Milan Melindo. Melindo started boxing at the age of six when his father introduced him to the sport as he's fed another double left jab that is right on the button from Shiro. And he hasn't been able to evade that shot with any sustained success. Melindo mentioned the damage at being inflicted on the bridge of his nose as Kanshiro employs nice defense, defensive work by raising that right glove. Melindo came back though. Melindo looking far more urgent in his work in this sixth round. Now he's putting the punches together. There was a beautiful left hook in the course of that combination. But Shiro says, I'll see you and raise you as he comes back with his own flurry. Punctuated by right cross and then right and left penetrating the hands. Of Melindo attempting to bracket his head with his hands, but the punches of Kanshiro, as accurate as those guided by laser. Terrific punch picking from the champion who's fainting with his feet now. Fencing with that lead hand and then just feeding it to Melindo as and when he likes. Really is navigating the boxing ring masterfully. Good long right hand to the body. Melindo tries the same shot with the left or to the same area with the left. Good right hand to the body from the method man on that occasion. But Ken Shiro's movement is incessant. In and out with incremental steps. Dancing around his man. And now a left, right, left. Causing Melindo to cover up. He sustained damage to his eye. The blood splashing around his face. And Melindo's in, under significant pressure here. A minute to go in the sixth round. Ken Shiro on the front foot, targeting both head and body, demonstrating wonderful variety and superb punch picking. Targeting the body to great effect to bring the hands down, which will leave the head open. Melindo, under heavy pressure here, has he weathered the worst of the storm? He's picked up a cut to that left orb. And that could well render him a one-eyed fighter. And particularly, Render him, render him unsighted for punches coming in from that right flank. This is a terrific period for Ken Shiro. He's controlling things wonderfully. Superb ring craft for a man in just his 14th professional contest. Lands with a short left, which gets Melindo's attention. Melindo, though, the old campaigner. Still no. slugging. But that was a torrid three minutes endured by Milan Melindo. Ken Shiro in complete control over the course of that round. Well, sustained a cut to the left eye during the course of that brilliant three minutes did. For brilliant three minutes for Ken Shiro did Melindo. And Shiro really attempted to go through the gears here, demonstrating his variety, demonstrating his punch repertoire, rapid hands, accurate punching. And Melindo was threatening to be overwhelmed. He had to give ground to cover up and let the storm pass. Doctor taking a look at that, what is a significant slash above the left eye of Melindo. Okay. Yeah, I work on it, okay? So big, so big, so big, feel, feel, so big, so big. Huh? Dungan is here. Dungan counter. Huh? Ayo, sige, yung dili. 
Come on. You need to be positive, Milan. You can. You can, you can, you can, you can, you can. So to the second half of this contest. And as the contest has gone on, the champion has continued to increase the intensity through rounds four, five, and six. He's administered a boxing lesson to the former champion, Milan Melindo. He cut him in the sixth round with his sharp shooting right crosses. The corner of work assiduously on that cut, but already just 30 seconds into the round, it is leaking blood once again. So Melindo's problems continuing to mount up here. Total punches, both in terms of the number thrown and the number landed, favoring the champion. And Melindo's face once again being turned into a crimson mask through the opening minute of this seventh round. There's a good right hand from the chat from the challenger just to keep the champion honest and let him know that this isn't a public sparring session. It is indeed a world championship bout. Ken Shearer looking to make a successful defense of his title for the fourth time and close in on the number 12. Secured by those Japanese icons. Yoko Bushike and Shinuki Yamanaka. Big left hook was swung, the right uppercut was a little bit closer from Melindo. Melindo looking like an old fighter in there now. The 30-year-old, a veteran of 300 rounds coming in, is really being worked over, and the right hand is proving to be a continually profitable punch for the champion, Ken Shiro. There's a jolting left jab. The right cross whipped over once again. And Ken Shiro just steadily cranking up the pressure and posing the question to see whether Melindo can withstand it as his head is buffeted backwards once again by a sharp shooting salvo from the flashing fists of Ken Shiro. He's going to watch that. He doesn't pick up a, head, a cut as the heads came close together there. Because boxing at this type of distance and this type of tempo, it is all Ken Shiro. Melindo, no question about his courage or his gameness up there in the boxing ring. But he is being given a veritable working over to both body and head by this young champion. Right uppercut missed by some distance. Now the referee has called time here. Closing seconds of the seventh round, but that right left eye really is in a shocking state. And it is all over in the seventh round. Ken Shiro makes a successful fourth defense of his WBC light flyweight title curtailing this contest in the seventh stanza after producing a masterful display of precise punch picking and fleet-footed boxing Ken Shiro improves his record to 14-0 and Milan Melindo sees his bid to become a two-time world champion at light flyweight come up short courtesy of increasingly sustained pressure applied by the brilliant young champion Ken Shiro. It was a magnificent display. Patient, poised, full of precise punch picking, a good variety as well. And increasingly, he just overwhelmed the champion who despite his edge and experience in ring craft, simply had no answer to the younger, fresher fighter, Ken Shiro with another successful defense of his WBC light flyweight world crown. What a magnificent ovation Ken Shiro has received. And nice to see that sporting embrace from the man who has just been vanquished tonight. The former champion, Milan Melindo. Outboxed, outfought, cut and ultimately stopped.
by Ken Shiro, the WBC light flyweight king. And he is receiving the most rapturous applause from this capacity crowd here at the Yokohama Arena. He's been smiling all week long, and now that smile is wider than ever. Ken Shiro is still the WBC light flyweight kingpin.